Good evening and welcome to the Temecula Community Services Commission special meeting of December 6, 2021. I'm Chair Levine and I will now call this meeting to order. We'll begin with our flag salute, Commissioner Sizemore. Thank you, Commissioner. May we have the roll call, please, Madam Secretary? Yes. Let's begin with our roll call. Commissioner Kerstevsky? Here. Commissioner Audie? Here. Vice Chair Sizemore? Here. And Chairperson Levine? I am here. All present. Thank you. Any public comments this evening? No, we do not have any public comments this evening. All right, then I will dispense with the reading and division reports. Uh, as this is a special meeting, I assume these may be emailed. We will give you the November and December updates at the January meeting. Okay. We gave staff a reprieve given the parade and we're working on the 2021 accomplishments. So we will fill you in for two months um, in the new year. Thank you. Excellent, thank you. And uh, under our consent calendar, uh, we have one action item. I'll go ahead and read the disclaimer. All matters listed under the consent calendar are considered to be routine, and all will be enacted by one roll call vote. There will be no discussion of these items unless members of the Community Services Commission request specific items be removed from the consent calendar for separate action. I will entertain a motion. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion from Commissioner Audi and a second from Vice Chair Sizemore. I will take a roll call vote, but I will kindly ask Commissioner Kristefsi to abstain due to his prior absence. Commissioner Audi? Yes. Vice Chair Sizemore? Approved. Chairperson Levine? Approved. The motion is approved three to zero. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. And we have one business item, which is to adjourn to the Twas the Lights Before Christmas Home Decorating Display Commissioner's Choice Judging. And we will do that. Uh, we assume we'll follow in January with our updated director's report. Is yeah. that accurate? Uh, any commissioner reports before we leave? Do you want me to? No? <laughs> you don't want her to? <laughs> I mean, I can share what I've been working on. Sure. I just wanted to share, you know, I attended the um, skate jam that was uh, just before the weekend before Thanksgiving, and um, that was at the skate park, and it was just for skateboarders, and one thing I noticed was there wasn't as large of an attendance as our bike jam, the BMX jam that we had. So I spent some time talking with some of the people from Neighborhood Drop-In. Uh, I call him Dr. Skate. I think his name's Joseph. He's, he's a doctorate, and he teaches a professor. They call him Dr. Skate. So he sent me some information to kind of educate me about some of the issues the skating community has with our skate park and mentioned some really nice skate parks in other cities around us. And I happened to be traveling up to Orange County that weekend, so I was able to visit Veterans Park in Tustin. They have a really cool skate park. And I was able to visit... McVickers Park in Lake Elsinore, and around an hour later, um, they have a really cool skate park that the skating community likes. And then I was able to kind of compare the usage, how many skaters there were, um, not very many BMX bikes or scooters using those skate parks, just skateboarders. And they were using it a lot different than I see the skaters at our skate park. And then after, my husband, after listening to me, compare the two parks. He's like, well, I want to see our skate park. I've never been there. So I was at 2.30 at Tustin, 3.30 at Lake Elsinore. Around 4.30, we hit Temecula Skate Park. So around the same time, same time of day, noticed a lot heavier usage at the other two skate parks by skaters. 
our skate park, not as many skaters, bikes and scooters. So it was really interesting to compare, compare the parks and how much usage they were getting by the skate community. So I do plan um, during my Christmas break, I'm going to hit up, there's a skate park in Carlsbad and one in Oceanside, I've been told. One, the one in Carlsbad is designed by Tony Hawk, so I'm kind of excited to go see that. And I think Escondido has one that I was going to go check out too. So in January, I will come back and report that. Could I get an, a, a Escondido tour? indeed does have a brand new skate park. <laughs> okay. So if you want to come check it out, let me know. Yeah, can I ask on the Escondido, I noticed at Tustin they had um, cameras. They had security cameras watching, watching the skate park. Does Escondido perchance? I cannot confirm or deny. No, I, I honestly don't know. Okay. Yeah. Because I was wondering it would be interesting maybe to reach out to Tustin and ask them, you know, do they keep, um, do they use their video footage at all to analyze what the usage is as far as how many skaters and, you know, and um, it, it might be interesting to, to maybe help give us some information. Yeah, I think it's important, you know, if that is the method they use, but always to get counts and, and, yeah. and get a trend of, you know, during the day when it's used and things like that. Yeah. Um, but that's a, that's a great way, it's, yeah. you know, to get that count. Yeah. So I will come back in January and tell you what more I'm learning about skate parks. Yeah, it's very, um, very cool that you did that. Um, and, and I agree. I, I think it would be, you know, you said you were at 2.30 at Tustin mm -hmm. and 3.30 at Elsinore. I'd be sort of curious what the peak times are and what mm. the peak days and stuff are. You know, mm -hmm. is it... You know, is it 2.30 not as used as much because people are getting out of school? You know, yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, it'd be interesting maybe to reach out to the other cities with these larger skate parks and kind of maybe see if they have any information yeah. they can share. I noticed like Tustin also had a security guard posted. So it'd be interesting, why do you have a guard posted? Have you noticed, you know, um, vandalism, fights, what kind of, you know, I think it's yeah. always good to share information and, and help each other out. I think that's awesome that you've been doing that twice, Chair Sizemore, since you brought it up. Um, we had a couple of meetings with that group too early mm -hmm. on when they when they first formed, and um, I know staff has been working with mm -hmm. them too. And we looked at and one of the things. I, I hope we all you know keep this at the forefront and, and kind of work together on this as a commission and um, keep an eye on what's going on. But one of the models that you know I would hope we look at is a um, where they have a pump track on the outside yes. of the skate track inside and then the second thing that I would hope is that we look at locating these new tracks mm -hmm. um, along trails too so mm -hmm. that kids can actually ride their board to the, yep. the skate park and not you know, have mom and dad have to drive them exactly there. because you do see these kids pumping their skateboards mm -hmm. on margarita on branch mm -hmm. california you know where they really shouldn't be mm -hmm. and um it would be nice if we had an easier way for them to get there too so there are a lot of things to think about yeah. as we you know look at where the next where the skate park is be or if they're going to yeah. refurbish the one we have and and what we do with that but it's um it's pretty um, pretty special that that group is out advocating for it. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah, and I, I think I, I did look at it. I think it's um, La Quinta or Coachella is where they Spawn Ranch did a skate park with the pump track that goes, goes around it. <laughs> that was really cool. I do plan to pop in at the Scooter Jam this weekend and um, just kind of note what the attendance is like for that. So thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else? Any updates? All right. Well, I won't belabor it. We will adjourn to our next meeting to be held Monday, January 10th, 2022. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. We are adjourned. <laughs>